An Australian radio host was almost arrested when he tried to leave a formal event hosted by Meghan Markle when she was still a senior member of the royal family. Comedian Joel Creasy recounted the surreal experience which took place several years ago on Nova 96.9's Fitzy and Whipper on Monday morning. He was invited to a morning tea for youth leaders hosted by Meghan, but got bored when she failed to show up on time. After waiting five hours for the former Suits actress to arrive, he tried to make a quiet exit but was told by security he'd be arrested if he left the premises. She was still a member of the royal family at the time and I went to a morning tea for youth leaders aged under 30. I just snuck in, he explained. I think the invite was for fellow comedian Josh Thomas and I took it. I went along and she was five hours late. The 32-year-old continued, she's done a Madonna. I said, can I leave? I don't care about her that much and security said, no, you can't leave, we'll arrest you. And I was like, wow, turns out it's easier to leave the royal family than it is one of their events. So we didn't really hit it off. Some royal fans aren't buying this story. They claim that he exaggerated the hours. If she'd been five hours late for an appearance during the Australian tour, we'd have heard it before now. According to News.com Australia, there was a blow up during the tour to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga in 2018. Speculation says that Meghan was allegedly worried about the presence of UN women, who was also in the area. Basically, she abandoned them after she met Prince Harry. For those who may be confused, Meghan allegedly did work with UN women before she got together with Harry. In a nutshell, during her days on suits, she hissed at one of the staff members who then promptly took her away. At the time, it was reported that she wanted out because it was too hot for her given she was pregnant with Archie. However, Rebecca English, a royal correspondent for the Daily Mail, who was covering the tour, said Meghan actually hissed the staff member in such a disgusting manner that it reduced the targeted personnel to tears. Her response comes after the Times reported allegations of bullying from the Duchess of Sussex during her time in Kensington Palace. Meghan hated every second of the visit and was more interested in backing specific causes than meeting ordinary Australians, according to Brown's biography, The Palace Papers. Brown wrote, She apparently hated every second of it. She found the itinerary of engagements pointless, a former Palace employee told me. Harry told Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, my father, my brother, Kate and all the rest of the family were really welcoming but it really changed after the Australia tour. Meghan appeared to link the pivotal moment to their pregnancy announcement after she'd already accused an unnamed royal of making racist remarks about her unborn child. She said, that's when we announced we were pregnant with Archie, that was our first tour. Harry added, but it was also the first time that the family got to see how incredible she is at the job. And that brought back memories. There's no doubt that Harry and Meghan sat down prior to the interview and twisted the truth. It's obvious that the former actress is lecturing Harry on how to say certain things. He no longer talks like he used to, which is why we know it's a Markle word salad.